I ruined my son's life and I want him back. My son has been in college since last fall. Last November, my 16-year-old stepdaughter brought up allegations that my son had abused her repeatedly for several years. I confronted my son and he categorically denied it, but I knew that even though he was my son, I could not defend him for such an awful act. My wife and I reported him to the authorities. My son was arrested in December and held in prison for several weeks because I refused to provide him bail money. He was eventually expelled from his Ivy League college. In the middle of January, my stepdaughter broke down and admitted she lied about everything. She had actually been having sex with her boyfriend and was scared the news would reach us. The charges were dismissed and my son was released immediately, but the damage was done. His first girlfriend from college ended things with him. The news spread about the allegations and all his childhood friends have decided to just stay away from him even though I called each and every one of them personally. I have called the school and explained the situation and even though they sympathized, they said he needed to reapply for the next school year and go through the admissions process again. My son is understandably furious at us. He has moved back home and refuses to talk to me at all. Both my wife and I have apologized to him repeatedly. We have banned my stepdaughter from our home permanently and she has been sent to live with her father in another state. My wife and I also agreed to completely disinherit her from our wills. It has been a very painful situation. All of us started therapy. The realization of how badly I ruined my son's life hit me when I picked up his first prescription of antidepressants today. I bawled my eyes out in my car. He is the pride and joy of my life. He is outgoing, funny, intelligent and the kindest person I know. But when I handed him his medication, I could not even recognize him. He locks himself in his room, does not eat properly and has lost several pounds so far. Whenever I try talking to him, I just see the hate he is for me in his eyes. I don't know if I can ever get him to love me again.